So hello YouTube friends, I'm back again with another of the sewing series for the baby. Now, I've been working with this double gauze and I've made, uh, so far, I've made the little baby trousers. Let me show you them. We've got two pairs of little baby trousers, a little green pair and a little grey and pink pair. I've made some little baby hats with Liberty fabric and there's a pink lined one, a grey lined one and a green lined one. So those three are all ready to go with the little baby trousers. Now in cutting up all this lovely double gauze I've got lots and lots of scraps. So today then I'm going to make a couple of bibs just with the scraps. Terribly simple. Uh, I found this free pattern. You would almost not need a pattern. You could almost free, free uh, style this one. Uh, but I found this little pattern. I'm going to cut it out now. Uh, I'm going to do, um, if I show you here, let's bring you down. These are just the little scraps that are left behind. And so I'm going to cut one, place it to the fold there, cut one of those shapes out of there and I'll make a pink bib. Uh, I think I'll just do them self-coloured. I could do a different colour on the back, but I won't. I think I'll just do this uh, the same colours. And so you can see, I, you almost don't need me to show you what I'm doing here. But I'm going to cut the two, put them right sides together, sew them all the way around, except for a little bit where I'll turn it inside out. And I'm going to do a couple of these, I think. So I'll pin this now, cut this one. This is placed to the fold, so that'll be fine there and then I'm trying to work out how to fix them together and I thought I might use some nice big poppers I've got some somewhere you know the little snap fasteners and put one on the back of here or velcro I haven't decided yet so I'll cut these out I'm going to uh, cut another one let's see when I get another one out of here probably yeah easily so okay I'm going to cut that out now and I'll get back to you when I've got all the pieces. I've cut out three little bib shapes from three of the colours. These are just the scraps that were left over from making other things. Because it's kind of useful to have quite a lot of bibs, isn't it? So what I'm going to do with these then is just sew all the way around the outside uh, with the right sides together and just leave a gap about and leave a gap about that big. There. Then I can turn it inside out and stitch that gap back down again. So I'm going to do that now. I'll get back to you when I've done that. Well, I've stitched all the way around the outside and I've trimmed it back on all three of them. So now we're going to just turn them inside out. See how that goes. I need something. The end of this pencil will do nicely just to push out the edges and make everything nice and tidy. And then we'll give it a top pressing and everything through there. These are terribly simple to make. Like I said, you don't really need a tutorial on these. It's just part of what I'm doing. Um, where's it gone? So that there'll be lots of lovely sewn things. I'm also knitting. So I shall show you some of the knitting that I'm doing as well uh, in another instalment. Knitting's really uh, dull to film. It's very slow. So I'll just do edited highlights of the knitting. Okay, so I just need to push the extremes out here. Yes, we do. Okay, so that's lovely. A little shake. So that's bib number one. So it needs it needs a good press and a lot more. And that bit there needs to be stitched. I'll hand stitch that, um, or I'll top stitch the whole bib. I can't. I haven't made my mind up yet what to do. And then a popper or a button or something on there to keep it on. 
Okay, so I'm going to turn all three of them the right way around now. And that'll be three bibs made today. What do you think, Norma? You could do the bib, you old dribble cat. She's getting very old now, this cat. She does a lot of sleeping. And I've noticed that she can't quite jump to the very high, uh, to the windowsill to get outside. So I'll put a chair there for her. So she can do it in two stages. She's 18. Lots of sleeping. She's not got much of an appetite. Okay. Oh. Now I've got a sewing project I'm going to share with you soon, which is for me. That'll be good. Depending on what order I do these in, you might have already seen it. I don't know. Okay. Poke the pencil in the end there. And get that nice and... So there's the green one. Just needs a good press. Okay, so that's them just roughly turned inside out now. So I'll take them across to the ironing board and give them a really good press. i show you them at the end. Because these little bibs are so simple and there's almost no work in them, I'm going to add a little extra embellishment and I'm stitching just an ordinary little running stitch in the same colour as the fabric. around the outside edge. I think it'll just look nice. And it's, it's just they're so quick and easy to make. It's just like a ex little extra added embellishment. So I'm going to, I've got the pink to do this one, and then I'll find the gray and this lovely greeny color to do the other two. So you'll hardly even see the stitching, but I'll know it's there. And then I've got to find some means of doing the closure. Stitching like this as well means that I can close up the gap where I turned it round um, to turn it the right way round. So I've done three separate little makes for baby and I've got one more that if I have time I might tackle now. This is the only colour of the double gauze that I haven't used yet, which is this mustardy colour. And my plan was to make a little baby dress with that. Um, and again, I think I'll line it so that it'll be, um, all the seams will be enclosed. And I'm sure there won't be enough to line it with the same fabric. So I'll have to think about what to line that one with. But that will be the next one coming up is that little um, baby dress that I'm going to make. So I'm just going to carry on now, if Norma will let me, and stitch all the way around the outside. <laughs> so I'll just stitch here while Norma entertains you. She spends a lot of time just doing that. I'll show you what they look like at the end. <laughs> okay then, so I did some lovely little st stitches around the edges of each one in um, a colour that you can barely see. And now then, I haven't decided how to fasten them. Uh, whether I use a little piece of Velcro or a popper. I'm going to ask Martha because she's going to be the one who's using them uh, and Adam. And so here they are then. Three little bibs. Three, three little bibs. One, two, three. Finished. So thanks for watching that one and we'll get back soon because I've got some more baby sewing to do. 
and some knitting. So uh, next instalment then, uh, we'll see what uh, what we managed to make with the double gauze and the Liberty and some of the other things then. So I'll just uh, goodbye from me and my sponsor. See you next time. Thank you.